Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I thank my ranking member for his um, generosity and for his great leadership. Members, we are truly here on a historic occasion. It is a rare and crucial moment of bipartisanship. This is the way you can do it. Men and women, Republicans and Democrats, conservatives and liberals coming together to make this place better. You know, when I first started this work back in 2014, I dreamed, but I did not dare to dream more than to hope that we would end up here today. Today, this bipartisan group of legislature, legislators is taking a historic step that has plagued this institution for generations. For years, members of Congress have gotten away with truly egregious behavior by mistreating their staff. A, a story that will be etched in my memory forever is a young woman who sat in my office earlier this year and told me her story, and who said, as she cried, the process was almost worse than the harassment. No more, ladies and gentlemen, no more will that be the case. Thanks to the Me Too movement, the American public has made it clear that they have had enough. They expect Congress to lead, and for once we are. Today, I'm proud to support the CAA Reform Act based on the Me Too Congress Act, which I introduced last fall. This bill empowers survivors. They will no longer be subject to mandatory mediation. They will be represented by counsel. They will no longer have cooling off periods and periods where they have to be counseled legally. And they have the right to sue. Most importantly, it creates the kind of transparency that we talk about but rarely ever provide. And members, yes, members are going to be held responsible for their bad behavior. And we will require them to pay the settlement in full in 90 days. And if they can't do that, we will garnish their wages, we will garnish their thrift saving plans, and we will garnish their Social Security. We would not be here today were it not for the unwavering commitment of Chairman Harper, Ranking Member Brady, Speaker Ryan, Leader Pelosi, Congressman Byrne, who I have delighted to work with on this issue, Congresswoman Brooks, Congressman Deutsch, and the entire Committee of House Administration. But this would not be here today but for the majority and minority committee staff, especially Jamie Fleet, who has shown extraordinary leadership, as has Kim Betts for all the late nights and the lost weekends to get this bill over the finish line. And to my staff, who would worked just as hard, to Molly Fishman and to Miriam uh, Goldstein, I have um, un, uh, uh, forever will be grateful for what you do for my... Can I have 30 more seconds? 30 seconds. I thank you, Mr. Um, the additional 30 seconds? The, the gentlewoman is recognized for additional 30 seconds. I thank you. Um, but our work is not done. The Me Too movement is driving change from the boardrooms to the break rooms across our great country. I'm committed to in ensuring that Congress looks beyond itself to improve the lives of all workers in America. Today we take a great step forward for the congressional workplace. We show that we can come together across party and geography. Tomorrow, let's continue to work to make sexual harassment and violence in all workplace settings a thing of the past.